Hi, everybody from Brown Stadium, which even though it's empty right now, it is still reverberating from the electricity as the amazing Browns pull off an amazing win over the Chicago Bears by a score of 20 to 17 to send them to nine and five overall, seven and one at home. And another major step is taken to securing a playoff spot in the AFC. More work to be done. But what a journey it was on this day. It would have been easy for the Browns to lose this game. And really, for 95% of the day, it looked as though the Browns were going to lose. After all, they were racked with injuries coming into the game. And then early in the ballgame, they lose the stalwart of their offensive line. Left guard Joel Batonio goes out with a back injury. He does not come back. And the Browns' offensive line could not handle the Bears' defensive front and specifically Montez Sweat for the rest of the afternoon. And it led to Joe Flacco having a tough day again through 95% of the game. But remember, there's still 5% of the game hanging out there, and that made the difference. Flacco threw three picks. One of them went all the way back for a pick six. The other two led to the Bears getting points as Chicago raced out to a 10-point lead, 17-7, as we turned the corner and headed for home. But the Browns kept hanging in there. They got a Dustin Hopkins field goal to close the gap to seven and then get the ball back with about five and a half minutes left to go in the game and came up with clutch, clutch plays. A big third down carry by Kareem Hunt got them a needed first down just over the 30-yard line. And then a razzle-dazzle in your backyard touch football play where Hunt took a direct snap, gave it to Flacco, who threw it to Hunt, who ended up with a big play, got them down close, and then Flacco hit Amari Cooper on an amazing play, which saw Cooper catch it, split the defense, and tightrope walk down the sideline in front of the Bears bench all the way into the end zone to tie the game up. But now it's only tied, and the Browns get the ball back with under two minutes to go. And again, Flacco comes up big. He hits David and Joku to get down into Bears territory, but the Browns take a five-yard penalty and go back to make it first down and 15, and third down and long. And Flacco throwing off his back foot. He fires a ball that Njoku catches and takes it down inside the 20. Suddenly, there's only 46 seconds left to go in the game, and the Browns make the Bears use their timeouts and then put the game on the foot of Dustin Hopkins from 34 yards out. He nails it, and it's 20-17. to But we're not home yet. With just about a half minute left to go in the game, the Bears get the ball back, minus timeouts, and Justin Fields hits a pass down the far right sideline to get the Bears down into Brown's territory. And then with five seconds left to go in regulation time, and they cannot kick a field goal because they're not in field goal range, Justin Fields rolls to the right, heaves the ball into the end zone. There are, it seems, about 5,000 players in the end zone, and the Browns knock the ball down. But when they do, it goes right into the midsection of wide receiver Darnell Mooney. And it looks like heartbreak that the Browns are going to lose on a Hail Mary. But the ball pops up in the air and into the arms of DeAnthony Bell, and the Browns are winners. An amazing win. They are dressed like the cardiac kids of 1980, and they are playing like the cardiac kids here in 2023 as they win another one right down to the wire, 20 to 17. And if you're going to make the playoffs, you have to win games like this. Joe Flacco, ever the pro. Had a tough day most of the day, but still threw for over 300 yards in the ball game. And when they needed chunk plays, he came up with big throws that got the Browns at least into Bears territory and got them on their way to score points. And the defense was magnificent once again. And the Browns now on Christmas Eve head to Houston to take on a spunky team, the Houston Texans, who won in overtime on this Sunday. But it's another Victory Monday coming up, everybody. Enjoy it. You'll always remember this one. The day the Browns came from way back and beat the Chicago Bears 20-17. From Brown Stadium, I'm Jim Donovan for WKYC.com.